Go ahead. I have my director. Go ahead. Ready? Amen. Praise <coughs> God. So at this time, uh, we will study about the word seven men and the two natures. Seven men and the two natures. The secret of victory over Satan and the power with God. Amen. So before we start, again, we start <coughs> in prayer. Praise the Lord. Shall we all pray? Lord Jesus, thank you so much, O Lord God, for this day, Lord God, as we come to your presence. Lord, that as we study your words, so God, I pray, Lord God, your anointing be upon your servant. And I pray, Lord God, that the eyes of understanding of every one of us be opened and let your wisdom, Lord God, uh, be put and be imparted to everyone's heart, Lord God. I pray, Lord God, that speak to everyone's heart, Lord Jesus, as we study your word, O oh Lord God. Hide me in your presence, Lord God, because I can do nothing with my own selves, Lord. But I need your spirit, Lord God, to speak to everyone, everyone's heart, Lord God. We thank you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Praise God. So we study seven men and two natures. Oftentimes, as a young Christians, we become discouraged when they discover that even, the, even though that they have received the Holy Ghost, they still continue in doing something wrong. Sometimes Christian says that, why I do like this? I already know God, but I'm still, I'm still doing the wrong things. Sometimes I'm still doing the wrong things. I'm still doing the things that I know that God uh, doesn't like. So uh, sometimes we are prone for temptations. Amen. We are prone uh, to fail some other lines as a being Christian. Sometimes we fail because uh, we thought that they would never be tempted again. So how many, first of all, how many of you here in this house are already baptized in Jesus' name. Amen. Can I know your hands, please? So only some, so most of us are baptized in Jesus' name. Amen. So since we are all baptized and we know God, all of us are battling. We are battling to this kind of uh, natures that we have. Why am I battling at the time against sins in the world? Am I really saved? Sometimes we ask this, am I really saved? Because why I'm still battling? Why, why I'm, still, I'm still doing the, the same things? Why I'm still sinning? Why I'm still doing the wrong things? Uh, I'm not doing the will of God. So why do these temptations keep coming to us? So Christians don't, uh, don't think that even though you are Christians, you are accepted. You are exempted to the temptation. You are exempted to the works of the flesh and the works of the devil. Don't think that. That even though you, you are a Christian, you are really, you know, you are perfect. No, sometimes we fail. Sometimes we keep on doing the wrong things. And maybe I did, we didn't re really get the Holy Ghost. If I did, why do have all these temptations and desires keep on hunting us? Again, I ask, who in this house have the Holy Ghost? Praise the Lord. So some yes, some no. So for some yes, why do I have... I have already the Holy Ghost, but why I keep on doing the wrong things? Why I keep on doing my own me? So the reasons that they are, we are discouraged is because they fail to see that, that, that we now have two natures. As a Christian, as a born again, we have now the two natures. What is these two natures? So to deal this, to deal with, 
fighting for possession of the same body. Galatians chapter 5, verse 16 to 17. Galatians 5, 16 to 17. We will read this. Galatians chapter 5, verse 16 and 17. So, this I say then, walk in the Spirit, and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. For the flesh lusteth against the Spirit, and the Spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary the one to another, so that you can do the things that you would. So what is this two nature? One nature is flesh, and one nature is the spirit. So it says in Galatians, again I will continue, but if ye be led of the spirit, ye are not under the law. Now, the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these, adultery, fornications, uncleanness, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, barriers, emulations, wrath, strife, seditions, heresies, verse 21, and beings, murders drunkenness, revelings, and such like of the which I tell you before, as I have also told you in time past, that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. So we will see the another nature. It is the flesh. And the Bible uh, defined what is the works of the flesh. What is this works of the flesh? And then Again in verse 22, but the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance, against such there is no law. So this is the another nature of man is the Spirit where this is leading by the Spirit of God. Amen? And this flesh is leading by our own selves. This study will help us to understand what happened when we are saved. So, what happened when we are saved? Since we baptize, since we accept our Lord Jesus Christ. And this is how to overcome so that we will be ready when Jesus comes. Because the best thing that... Um, the dream, the everyone's dream, every pastor's dream, or every Christian's dreams, is when he comes, we will be with him. It's so sad when he comes, if we, will, we cannot caught up, or we will be raptured with him. So it's so sad. So, since we are all Christians, let's do our part. As I said a while ago, that be ye doers. Of the words of the words not hearers only so the Lord needs the doers of the word of God not only hearers because if only hearers and you do nothing for the work of the Lord and for the for the glory of God then it's it's vain your our salvation is just vain if we do not obey the, the word of God Remember in Samuel said, Samuel said, to obey is better than sacrifice. So obedience, and there is an army goal that says, obey first before you complain. That's the army goal. And they said, before you complain, you have to obey. So everything that is in the Bible, we have to obey and we cannot complain at all. Amen? We cannot complain of, of, at all because we know that all in the Bible it's all for our good. It's all for our, for, 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 our, for us to be, to be uh, safe. Amen. 
So let us study by looking this nature as a sinner. So in these scriptures, he called us, the first nature, he called us as a natural man. Number one. Number one is natural men. <coughs> Before we did not know God, we did not accept the Lord Jesus Christ, we are natural men. We called a natural man because we don't know about the Word of God. We don't know about the Bible. We, know, we don't know about like this fellowship. We don't attend like this. So we called us a natural man. So in 1 Corinthians chapter 2, 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 14. 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 14 says, But the natural man receiveth not the things of the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness unto him. Neither can he know them because they are spiritually discerned. So this, we know that we are all naturally like this before we know him, before we know God. So it says every natural man, they cannot discern what is in the spirit because they are just natural. They don't know about the word of God. They don't know uh, what's happening inside the church. Because it's just natural understanding. We understand things according to our mind, to our own understanding. But since we know God, we understand things not only in our own selves, but we understand th things according to God's Spirit. Amen. So in John chapter 3, verse 5 and 6, a while ago, as Pastor Ahmed quoted this, John chapter 3, verse 5 and 6 says here that Jesus answered, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. So the requirements, because we are natural men, that's why the Lord Jesus said that, Except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot, uh, what, what he says this, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God because we are natural men, so we cannot enter into the kingdom of God. And verse 6 says that which is born of the flesh is flesh. So all of us are born of the flesh. So everything that we know is only on the flesh. And then verse 7 says, Marvel not, I say unto thee, ye must be born again. So these natural men cannot receive about God's Spirit because it's just natural. So the requirements is he must be born of water and of the Spirit. He must be born again. So that's the requirements of this natural man. So in Ephesians chapter 2, Ephesians chapter 2, verse 1 to 3. Ephesians chapter 2, Verse 1 to 3 and verse 12. So I will read it. And you hath he quickened who were dead in trespass and sins. So this is the natural man. We are once dead, dead in trespass and sins, wherein in time past you walk according to the course of this world. What is the course of this world? Of course, everything that's uh, that is uh, no good in the sight of God. We walk in this course of this world. According to the prince of the power of the air. Who is the prince of the power of the air? The prince of the power of the air is none other than Satan. Okay? He is the prince of the power of the air. And the spirit that now work kept in the children of disobedience. So he, this natural man is doing something that is not according to the will of God. And the Bible says that 
uh, the uh, the Bible says, as we read, the children of disobedience. So we are once the children of disobedience because we disobey God. We don't know God before this natural man. Okay? And then in Matthew chapter 12, Matthew chapter 12, verse 33 to 37. Okay, Matthew chapter 12, verse 33 unto 37. Either make the tree good and his fruit good, or else make the tree corrupt and his fruit corrupt, for the tree is known by his fruit. That's right. So it says, the, it says here that we are known by our own fruits. So since we are natural men, we do things that is not pleasing to God. So this tree is corrupt because we do things that is not good unto God. And verse 34 says here, O generation of vipers, how can ye being evil speak good things? For out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. So when we are natural men, the flower of our lips is more on bad words, right? The flower of our lips is bad words. Why? Because we are natural men. We always say something that is not pleasing to the ear because we are natural men. And verse 36 says, But I say unto you that every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. See? If the natural man, this natural man, if we live this kind of nature of man, automatically we are in damnation. Because we are not connected to God. We don't understand what God wants, wants this natural man to his life. But when sins, but when the natural man turns to God, this natural man repents and is baptized in Jesus' name. He loses his sins and become, number two, become a repented man. So number two nature, repented man. So since this natural man in Galatians chapter 5, verse uh, Galatians chapter 5, verse 19 to 21 or to 27, we read. It describes here all the works of the flesh, right? Mm -hmm. Works of the flesh. Sorry for my writings, works of the flesh. Okay. So since this natural man repented and accept the Lord Jesus Christ so what happened next since we become repented men ah. sorry I need to do this to illustrate more. Okay. Since this natural man accepted God, the works of the flesh cut off. Okay? The works of the flesh cut off. So this is now us. Okay? Repented man. In Matthew chapter 1, verse 21, it says here that, Jesus came here, okay, Matthew chapter 1, verse 21 says here that, And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. So a natural man, when he accepted God, the Bible says he become repented man, 
And the Bible says, if we repented, all our sins are erased. So we will start from the beginning. We will start as a new man, as a repented man. So this is us. So the Bible says in Matthew 1.21 that Jesus came here to save us from all our sins. So we accepted God. In Acts chapter 17, verse 30, Acts 17, 30, it says here that, And the times of this ignorance God wink up, but now commanded all men everywhere to repent. So, God commanded all men, this natural man, to repent. But not all accepted God. Amen? Not Amen. all accepted God. But those who repent, God forgive us from all our sins. So in Proverbs chapter 28, verse 13. Proverbs chapter 28. Proverbs 28, verse 13. Says here that he that covereth his sin shall not prosper, but whoso confesseth and forsaken them shall have mercy. And the Bible says, I have mercy to whom I have mercy. So the Bible says in, in Proverbs, he that covereth sin. So we have to acknowledge our sin unto God. We should not be righteous in our own sight. Amen? We have to acknowledge God in our lives that we can do nothing without God in our lives. So, if we cover our sin and did not confess it, the Bible said we will not prosper whatever we do. Amen. So, the branches of sin in Colossians chapter 2, verse 8 to 13. Colossians. Colossians chapter 2, I know we are all hungry, but bear with me. Colossians chapter 2, verse 8 to 13. It says here that, Beware, lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit, after the traditions of men, after the rudiments of the world, and not after Christ. For in him dwelleth all the fullness of the Godhead bodily, and ye are complete in him which is the head of all principality and power, in whom also ye are circumcised with a circumcision made without hands, in putting off the body of the sin of the flesh by the circumcisions of Christ, buried with him in baptism, Wherein also you are risen with him through the faith of the op operation of God who hath raised him from the dead. And you being dead in your sins and the uncircumcision of your flesh, hath he quickened together with him, having forgiven all our trespasses. So we thank the Lord because we before as a natural man, we repented to our sins. And all our sins have gone. No more. So we will start from the scratch. We will start from here. And the branches of sin will soon reappear if he does not go on to receive the Holy Ghost. So it's not enough to be baptized in Jesus' name. We need also to receive the Holy Ghost. Because if we don't have the Holy Ghost, it will easily for us to come back to our old nature, to our old self. In Matthew chapter 12, Matthew chapter 12, verse, 20, uh, verse 43 to 45. Matthew chapter 12, verse 43 to 45. It says here, When the unclean spirit is gone out of a man, he walketh through dry places, seeking rest, and findeth none. Then he saith, I will return into my house, from whence I came out. And when he is come, he findeth it empty, sweat, and garnish. Then he goeth he, and taketh with himself 
seven other spirits more wicked than, than himself, and they enter in and dwell therein. And the last state of the man is worse than the first. Even so, it shall be also unto this wicked generation. So this repented man not only baptized in water, but also need to be baptized in Holy Spirit, Holy Ghost. Because if this natural repented man, because we are new creation, we become a new nature, we become clean in the sight of God because the Lord forgive all our sins. And when the Bible says in Matthew, as we read, when the as a natural man, we have this devil with us, right? We have this bad spirit with us. We have these works of the flesh with us. But when we repented, it's cut off. So, we are all clean. But, this is still reappear if we don't uh, supply our spiritual needs with the spiritual things of God. So, if this this house, when the devil found that this house is empty, that nobody take over, that this house is, belongs to him before, and when this house is, he found empty, the Bible says he will come back to this house. And the Bible says he will become worse. And the Bible says seven spirits. So the Bible says seven spirits will come back. Amen? Amen. So natural man cannot receive anything from God. So, so this, sa Tagalog, di ba nakakilala tayo sa Panginoon? Doon, ngayon nakakilala na tayo sa Panginoon, nilinis tayo ng Panginoon. Pag ang yung spirito na wala sa'yo, babalik Babalik uli ang dati mong laman. At ang sabi ng Biblia, pitong spirito aayain niya sa katawan mo. So, ang sabi ng Biblia, you are more worse than before. So, we call it this tendency to backslide. Diba? Yung backslider. So, when you are backslider, it will be become worse than before. I remember when I was Backslide. I know that I'm worse. I'm doing something worse to God. That's why I called myself um, Doomsday. That was my Doomsday. Really, really very bad in the sight of God. So that's why the branches of sin will soon reappear if we does not go on to receive the Holy Ghost. That's why we encourage every day or every Sunday here in the church that we have to receive the Holy Ghost. We have to pray. We have to worship. Because the start of having the Holy Ghost is to have a clean heart, for you to, to open your mouth, to open your heart, to open yourselves to worship. Because if the, the, the Spirit knows that your body is ready to, to pull, to put His Spirit to you, then He will give it to you. But if it's so that you are not yet ready, of course, okay, there are lots of disturbances. That's why we need to, when we come here, we need to concentrate to God, we need to worship God, we need our mind to be on God. Amen. So, when, but when he received the gift of the Holy Ghost, this repented man, when he received the gift of the Holy Ghost, he truly becomes a born again man. See, before you become a natural repented man, then you will become a born, born, born again man. So, there are lots of process, natural man. And then you will repent. This is repented man. And this repented man is fighting for two natures, right? Nature with the old nature, and this nature as a Christian. 
And when you continue having the Holy Ghost in your life, the Bible says you, then you will call born again. So when we are born again, remember, I cut off all the works of the flesh. So this is us. This repentant man continue having the Holy Ghost, continue reading the Word of God, and then we become the born, born again. And then we are now the new, new nature, and we are grafted in. So these branches will again make another tree. Yan. Tama ba? Yan. Kasi grafted tayo. We are grafted in. Remember, we are grafted in with the Lord Jesus Christ. So, Jesus Christ is the tree. Okay? And we are branches. We are grafted in. We are born again. And this is our new nature. Because we go in the Holy Ghost. Yes, sir. Ah, okay. So, in John chapter 3, verse uh, 3 to 5, as we read, uh, it says that, that except a man be born again, be born of the Spirit, and of the water he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. And in verse 7, Marvel ye that I said unto you, ye must be born again. So, marami tayong dadaanan, di ba? We have a lot of things to pass, uh, to pass through as a Christian. So, then you become a born again. And then, you have now a new nature. And then, you will, you will say to yourself, Oh, uh, before I do like this, before I wear like this, before I talk like this, bad things, but, but, but I'm, I'm changing. I keep changing. I don't know why, right? Sometimes we, 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 don't, we realize that before I, I easily say bad words, but now I have no, somebody is, uh, not my words be the flower of uh, the flower of our mouths is uh, said to our to our mouth. Amen. So now we are born again. In John chapter seven, John chapter seven, verse thirty-seven up to thirty-nine, and we will finish this born again. And next, the other day is another day. John chapter seven. Verse 37. So we continue this next time? Yes. 37, verse 39. Uh, ter 37 to 39, sorry. In the last day, that great day of the feast, Jesus stood and cried, saying, If any man thirst, let him come unto me and drink. He that believeth on me, as the scripture had said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. But this as I spake, but this spake he of the Spirit, which they that believe on him should receive, for the Holy Ghost was not yet given, because Jesus was not yet glorified. See? As a born again, repentant man, because we keep on attending, we keep on reading the Word of God, we keep on praying, and we keep on receiving the Holy Spirit of God, and then we become born again, and we are engrafted to this, this tree, and become a new nature, and it says here that this is the God's plan, this is the God's plan to every man to become a born again. Amen. So that we have to become a relationship to God. Romans chapter 1 verse 16. Romans 6, 6, 1 16. It says here that for I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ for it is the power of the God for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. So, this is the salvation of God. Ye must be born again. Born again is not a religion. Born again is not an organization. 
Born again is, is the requirements of God that men should be saved. That's right. We must be born again. Amen. So it's not a religion. It is us. For, to, for us to have a relationship to God. So being born again, everything that old nature is changed. We are not like the natural man. Remember the work, the natural man, there are lots of works of the, the flesh. The works of the flesh are very dirty in the sight of God. The natural man is easily, you know, the temperance is very low. Because it's natural, man. But Mama. if a man become repented and born again, of course the Lord will help us to be more patient, to be more understanding to every one of us. All of us has um, different kinds of attitudes. Yes, all of us have different kinds of attitudes. But yet, nobody can change us, only God. Yeah. Only the Spirit of God. Yeah. Because for us to change ourselves is very hard. That's why we need God to change us. Colossians chapter 3, verse 10. Two more verses and then we'll finish. Okay. Colossians, uh, Colossians, Colossians chapter 3, verse 10. Verse 10. And have put on the new man, which is renewed in knowledge after the image of him that created him. So as a born again, it says here that we put on the new man. We are not, you are not living on Said now. You are different now. You are Jesus Said now. Amen. I am Virgis. Christ now because I'm not living now in my own selves we're living now according to the will of God according to leading of the spirit but if we live according to the leading of flesh of course we will all fall down praise God hallelujah so the new the new nature graft in in the nature of our Lord Jesus Christ so everything that with the with us we are graft in in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, Amen. not our own selves. Praise the Lord. So, I will finish my teaching today. Okay, Okay, last verse. First John chapter 3, verse 9. This is last verse and then we will finish. First John. First John. First John chapter 3, verse 9. Ito na, wag na, marami masyado. First John chapter 3, verse 9. Diyan nga sila nakikinig, matira ang matibay. Okay, First John chapter 3, verse 9 says, Whosoever is born of God, that not commit sin. Wow, Lord, help us with this. Whosoever is born of God, that not commit sin. For his seed remaineth in him, and he cannot sin. Because he is born of God. This is a very big uh, declaration of God. I cannot see. <laughs> because you see, First John chapter three verse nine. Yeah. Whosoever is born of God that not commit sin. See, we cannot commit sin. Why? Because we are born again and we are walking according to the will of God and according to the Spirit of God. Amen. So this we will study continually because this is seven natures. So we'll still have the four natures. God bless you all. Amen. Amen.